In this video, we will be studying about basis of classification. Now, on what basis you can classify your data? We have four bases of classification. Number one is your geographical. Number two is your chronological. Number three is your qualitative. Number four is your quantitative. In this, geographical, chronological, qualitative and quantitative. Further, your qualitative is divided into two parts. That is your simple and your manifold. So let's discuss these individually. Geographical. See, when you are classifying your data on the basis of geography or the location, then your data can, is called the geographical uh, classification. Let's say you want you have a data of the number of iron and steel companies in year 2016. So now you will classify that uh, data accordingly that in Punjab you have say 30 firms in Haryana you have let's say 20 firms in UP you have 25 firms so in this way when you are classifying your data according to the geographical area that is called your geographical uh, classification. Then comes your chronological classification, which means when you are classifying your data on the basis of time, then it is known as your chronological classification. Let's say the sales of a firm. You have that in 2014, the sale was 80 of rupees 80 lakh. In 2015, it was of 90 lakhs. In 2016, it was of 150 lakhs, let's say. So, in this way, you are classifying your data yearly on the basis of time. That is your chronological classification. Third classification comes with your qualitative classification. See, when you are classifying your data according to the quality or the attributes which means that let's suppose you have uh, collected a data of individual and you are classifying into the educated or uneducated right so these the data you're classifying is on the attributes on the qualities so that is your qualitative classification your qualitative classification is further divided into two parts that is your simple quali uh, simple classification and the second comes is your manifold classification See, when there is simple classification, uh, according to this, you classify your data into dichotomy, which means that is which means you are classifying your data only into two attributes that is healthy and unhealthy. educated and educated
then your male female but in manifold classification what you do you classify the data and then you further classify it on different attributes that is you qualified your skilled labors then you qualified unskilled labors who do not have skills then you further classify literate then you further classify into illiterate unskilled again you classify as literate then you classify as illiterate then you classify further rural from rural area from urban area this also you classify again for rural for urban again you classify for rural urban again for rural and urban see in this way in manifold classification what you're doing you're classifying your data into the various attributes using your various attributes here you are using only two attributes your healthy and unhealthy like your skilled and unskilled will be your simple classification but when you classify the skilled and unskilled into furthermore attributes furthermore qualities then it becomes your manifold classification fourth comes your quantitative or numerical classification when your data are classified into classes or groups on the basis of their numeral values means each class of data is capable of quantitative expression or can be expressed in terms of some numeral figures like for example if i take the number of firms and i classify it the annual profits and the number of firms how many firms are there who earn 0 to 5 lakh of profit like let's say 150 then from 5 lakh to 10 lakh profit let's say uh, 200 from 10 lakh to 15 lakh in this i am classifying data using numeral values numbers so this is your quantitative or numeral classification and this is also known as the classification by variables So I hope you have completely understood the basis of classification. Do download our Scholars Learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.